you are an amazing writer. You were a writer before you became a teacher. And I think to me, there's so many teachers that are really brilliant in their content area, love that stuff that they do, and they want to share and elevate people in that same area, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like they're failed at that too, but there is like a, there's a different way of being. So like I've been thrown off, like I was like, really people say that? In your career path, you kind of totally debunk that notion, right? Like, am I off there or what? No, no. I was going to say, I think that quote should really be teachers who love, like people who love teach. Mm -hmm. Um, I like you can love your content and people say this of high school teachers all the time and college professors, like they don't love kids. They love their content and elementary teachers traditionally love kids, but maybe don't have the same depth of knowledge around the particular subjects that they're teaching all of them um and i i believe that to really inspire kids like part of what gave me so much credibility in my classroom was the fact that i was doing what i was asking them to do yeah and i was really comfortable sharing my crappy first drafts with them and showing them the comments my editors put on things and and even being really transparent about my reaction to those comments the first time I read them or going back through some of my old papers even Mm -hmm. and saying to them, you know, when you're a writer, you're on this journey and it's always evolving and you could be super proud and it could be the best you are right now when you look at it. But in five years from now, you're going to look at it again and you're going to have evolved from that place. And when you have, that writing is not going to feel so great anymore because it's just the best of where you were at that time. And writing is one of those skills that is ever evolving. Your vocabulary is growing. Your style can shift and change. And especially as young writers, as you're developing your voice, like having those opportunities to try on different voices until you Mm -hmm. find the one that fits that's your own and being able to share that journey with them and have them be a part of my writing journey because many of my students have been part of my books whether they've written things specifically for the books or i've used their work as evidence of the things that i was talking about and now i've been blessed i have like a handful of kids who are teachers Mm -hmm. because I taught the 12th grade, they come back to me as a, you know, looking for me to be a mentor to them as a new teacher. And Mm -hmm. it's like the greatest gift to see these kids evolve from teenagers into young professionals after they finish school. And the fact that they still want me to be a part of their journey, it's like, Mm -hmm. you know, how could you say there that people who can't teach if, you have this ongoing opportunity to build these beautiful relationships with young people who could change the world.